Namaste everyone, I'm Samate from Botswear. Thank you so much for stopping by our YouTube channel. So today it is the leg day. So our legs have been supporting all our life and uh, we sometimes tend to skip the leg day but uh, we feel that it's always good to strengthen our legs, to stretch our legs and to move our legs in different ways. So today is that particular day in which we'll be targeting majorly the legs. Of course, there are other muscles that will be also involved, but majorly the legs we'll be focusing on. So let's get started everyone. So for today's session, we will start from the lying down position. So you can just lie down and let's keep our knees bent. So you have to make sure that if you are placing your palms on the floor, your middle finger should touch the heels. So that much gap has to be present between the heels and the hips. In this position itself, let's all gently lift our glutes up. You may roll your shoulders in just a bit. Glutes will go up, middle back, lower back, everything goes up. And let's hold here for a while. For a few seconds, feel the stretch around your legs, around the entire body. For a few seconds, hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's start with up and down movement of the same in the same position, everyone. So this will target your glutes, your thighs, your middle, your lower back, and your cervical spine also because the pressure is being applied over there. For a few seconds, we'll go up and down. I can already feel the stretch around my thighs. Keep going. Let's not skip the leg day. And let's hold once again. You can roll your shoulders in just a bit. Four, five, four, Three, two, one. And as you exhale, you may gently drop your body down. And from here itself, stretch your arms horizontally on the floor and let your legs drop onto the right side as you face towards the left. It's always good to stretch a bit in between. Let's not lift the shoulders up off the ground. You will start feeling the stretch around your abdominal muscles, around the sides. And as you inhale, let's come back to the center. And as you exhale, you may drop your body on the left side and relax. The idea is not to touch the floor with the legs. The idea is to feel the stretch around the targeted areas in the pose. For a few seconds hold. And as you inhale, come back to the center. As you exhale, you may relax your arms. And once again, let's all bring our palms next to the heels. Again, we'll be lifting our body up, but this time we'll be improvising a bit. So as you inhale, lift your body up. Once again, you can roll your shoulders in. In this position itself, lift your right leg up 45 degrees up and let's hold over here for 10 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 
two, one. As you exhale, you may relax your right leg and in the same position as you inhale, lift your left leg up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, you may relax your left leg and push your body a little higher now and hold over here for a few seconds simply relax in the pose and as you exhale you may gently drop your body down and hold on to your shin bones so you can just cross your palms you can interlock your palms you can hold on to your wrist if you want no need to lift your upper body right now and simply relax in the pose it's good to relax in between four ten nine eight seven six five four three two one from here itself release place your palms on the floor to come in the boat pose right away so you can straighten up your legs and your eyes will be in line with the palms and the toes for a few seconds let's hold over here four ten nine eight seven six five four three two one bend your right leg lift your body up and grab your left big toe as you place your right arm in front of you and stay over here so if you want if you find it a little difficult you can place your right palm on the floor just make sure that your left knee is straight and stay over here for a while i will demonstrate like this also for your convenience for 10 seconds we'll balance our body so right now you're working not just on the legs but you're on your hamstrings also for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and you may gently switch so swiftly change your position and hold over here and balance 4 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 place your foot on the floor and in this position itself let's place our feet diagonally and grab your left ankle using the right palm as the left arm goes up let's stay over here for a while for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and you may gently switch your side as your right arm goes up for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 place your elbow point to the knee point and push your legs away as you come in the mal asan or the yogic squat or the garland pose and stay over here for 10 seconds hold for your convenience i will once again demonstrate like this for 10 9 let's keep our spine muscles engaged 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 place your palms on the floor lift your body up 
to go in the mountain. Let's all stay in the mountain for a while. So keep pushing the spine in. Heels on the floor to feel the stretch in the hamstrings and the calf muscles. And in the same position as you inhale, lift your right leg up in the one legged downward facing dog. Dog will always help us transition in yoga. For 10, 9, 8, 7, keep your knees straight, toes pointing outwards, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend your right knee to bring it in front and in the same position, let's all lift our upper body up to come in the high lunge. Your palms will not join together. Your back toes are on the floor. Let's simply hold. Keep breathing normally in the pose. And let's gently place our palms on the floor as the right leg goes back in the palm plank. So, in the palm plank for a while. Four, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push your lower back in as you go back in the mountain. Let's stay over here for a while. This time only for five good seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. As you inhale, lift your left leg up. Knees will remain straight and the toes out. In the one legged downward facing dog or Ekpada the Mukshanasan. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bend your knees to bring your left foot between the palms and gently lift your body up. For 10 seconds, you may hold. little dynamic today and from here itself place your palms on the floor to go back in the palm plank so you have to keep smiling throughout the session <laughs> so it might become a little difficult but it's okay. We'll keep flowing. For five seconds hold. For five, four, three, two, one. Gently lift your right leg up and place your right leg a little higher this time. For 10 seconds we'll hold. For 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. As you exhale, you may relax. As you inhale, the left leg goes up. Four, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's come back to the center. And let's all come in the beast pose now. So your knees should be one to two inches off the ground. And let's engage our core. You will start feeling the stretch in your quadriceps. And let's hold over here. 
for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take your legs back as your body goes back in the mountain. So in the mountain itself, let's go for a walk. It's always good to relax in between, but we won't be going down on the floor. So first, let's start paddling our feet. This will relax your legs a bit. And from here itself, let's all bend our knees as you push the spine in. So the knees are pretty close to the floor. Just push the spine in. Let's stay over here. So this will target your legs, the cordyceps. From here itself, you may place your knees on the floor as your arms come by your side and simply relax. Let's keep breathing normally in the child's pose and let's not be in a hurry to come out of it. And slowly let's all lift our upper body up to come back in Vajrasana. So this was the flow for the legs. Of course, you can do a lot of other asanas in case of the legs. But please don't skip your leg day because this is something, this is like the support of your body. Yeah. So they have been supporting us and they also need attention. Yes. So it's always good to strengthen them from time to time. And uh, in your own practice, in your own yoga practice, please make sure that you are stretching them at the same time you are strengthening the leg muscles. And if you have any particular queries, you know, uh, whether you want us to make particular yoga tutorial or you want something else, yeah, so from us, if you need any help, so we are definitely, we are always available for you. And uh, please don't forget to like this particular video and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, there is a bell button and right under our video. If you click on it, you will get the notification as soon as we upload a particular YouTube video. And I really hope that you like this video and it was so good to spend time with you. You took out the time to practice with us on our channel and uh, you took out the time for your legs. I'm really, really happy and you did a great job, everyone. So thank you so much and stay warm and have a beautiful day. Namaste, everyone.